<laughs> this ain't it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between I'm back with somebody else's hair and guess what it is wine and wigs day clink 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 mm. how are y'all today I hope you're doing well y'all can see that I'm doing fantastic I'm doing great I'm giving Diana Ross and living my dreams it's giving scalp let me not get too close but it's slightly giving scalp I'm gonna quit being so cocky when it comes to my scalp because y'all know my hair ain't that thick so <laughs> I be trying. I be trying. Back up. Back up. You see it? Before we get into this unit, first ask y'all how y'all doing. Hopefully you're doing great. Leave the comments down below. Also, tell me what you're drinking. I have a little sip of little grape juice. Little grape juice. Y'all let me know what you're drinking down below. Why you doing that? Just hit subscribe hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post. Why am I? I'm staring at my forehead, my forehead. Why does it look so big? She's showing out, ain't she? Anyway, as I was saying, just go ahead and subscribe, girl. I want to see you a little bit more. Now that I got on y'all nerves, let's go ahead and talk about this her on my head. I love wigs with leave out. Now that my hair has gotten a little bit more healthy, I can wear wigs with leave out. And this wig is a V part wig. So I can like, you know, I can let my hair play a little bit. Before I had to let her, I had to tuck her away. I had to hide her because when she get out in public she acts up so i am so happy to have received this kinky curly v part wig i want to say thank you to curly me for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video so let's go ahead and get into the details on this unit this is a kinky curly v part wig from curly me my hair is trying to act up in public girl wait till we get home <laughs> It's 26 inches long and it's 180% density. Let's go ahead and pop the hood on this wig. Y'all know I like to look up under the cap. This wig has four clipping combs around the perimeter of the V part and four sliding combs. So three around the perimeter of the head and one in the middle. Also, there are adjustable straps in the back to keep her secure. Make sure she doesn't go anywhere. When you receive the wig, it comes in the beautiful curly me box. Now I ain't gonna, I'm not one for packaging. Like I don't care as long as what's inside is cute. I don't care what's on the outside, but this curly me box is giving gift tees. Like the box, the box I received was gorgeous. So when you open the box, you also actually receive gifts. You receive a wig cap, some huge lashes and a pamphlet from curly me. Of course, along with that, you get your wig. The item that you bought when i pulled this wig out hold on let me fluff her up the back of my head look a fool but the front <laughs> you can't play with me the wig came like i said 26 inches and it came in this machine curl texture now if you like those like mechanical spiral curls this wig is that you know you could pull it right out the box and throw it on your head and punch it girl but that ain't me you need to add a little water a little wine <laughs> need to add a little moisture to it to make it pop and that's what i did with this wig um i was able to cut bangs into it like these cute bangs and have like just a small put out, i didn't put out that much leave out at all because my hair don't be liking to be outside they like to be inside she's shy she like to be inside the house you don't see it but i didn't leave out any leave out on the sides but if the wind blow what what you gotta say but I didn't have to do any leave out. I just had to do copious baby hairs. Baby hair solves every problem that you need. If you want to see how I cut the wig, how I layered the wig, how I got these curls to pop, please keep on watching and I'll be back with a coupon code. Always with a coupon code. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started. Y'all know first, I got to take a sip of tea. Sip of tea. Promise this, promise this. Okay. Girl, these smile lines are giving me the business, ain't it? Let me turn this light down so y'all don't see all my imperfections, honey. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the hair. Y'all already know what my hair look like. If you've been here before, y'all know I got a little teeny weeny hair. That's what I got. 
teeny weeny hair but I love my teeny weeny hair and what we're gonna do is start by doing our base because I really want I want big big hair like big with bangs Ooh, who's calling me not from Huntsville I don't know nobody from there telemarketer no ma'am I'm gonna go ahead and start with the middle part are y'all sick of me doing middle parts because I've already done a side part with long hair. This time I'm going to do a middle part. So let me get this middle part together. What are y'all side part or middle part people? I think I asked that last time. But I am a middle part person. Now y'all going to see a blizzard come from my head. Because all of this eco styler gel that I've been putting in my head. I just put some in this morning. Ooh. It's like an old dusty house up there. Okay, so this is what our part's gonna look like. Please don't pay, y'all, can y'all not judge me on my dandruff, please? If I was watching somebody's video and, and they had that much dandruff, I would be judging. But I just got a new shower head, so I'm about to get into this scalp after this. Now that we section away the part that we would like, I need to just braid down the hair and get it out of the way and create our base. And since we're working on our base, ooh, ooh, ooh. So let's clip away the hair. Okay, now next for our base, I have to create anchor braids along the side to make sure those clips, they got something to hold on to. Otherwise, it's gonna slip out. And like I said last time, I'm gonna give mullet, okay? I usually don't do this, but I need to first brush out some of them broken off baby hairs so we can get realistic. And then I just braid this hair back. Oh, this is so much easier without press-ons along the part and then I braid down. I didn't even part it down the middle. Girl, what am I doing? Let me part it down the middle. What was I up to, girl? did our base I don't know what I was doing on this side sis like I it's giving winding road giving it's giving winding road now with our base we have to do one more thing we have to do baby hairs because I want my baby hairs to be laid so in order to do my baby hairs I need to use a gel I used to use like an eco styler gel but that ain't enough we're using the olive oil grip gel I'll be using this to apply my wig so you know she got she she she's sticky she the stickiest of the icky so i'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of this gel and we're just gonna do the baby hairs i place my baby hairs in the same place on my forehead around the receding hairline and the ear tabs i don't like to do more than that because it's be looking a fool so give me all of the hair sideburn bangs <laughs> i'm gonna do the same thing to the other side and then we're gonna let them dry and then we're gonna apply the wig Okay y'all, so our baby hairs are dry. They're crispy like I like them. I don't want them to move at all. So just now I realized, I think I jumped out of the window a little bit with this leave out because really, what is that gonna cover, girl? <laughs> we, I guess we will see. Here's the units. I showed y'all what it looked like in the beginning. Did I show y'all what my hair looked like in the back? This is what the braid down looks like as well. So, so what I like to do is unclip all of the combs all the combs are open and we're gonna start to apply i used to start in the back but let me start in the front this time i'm gonna take the clip slide it in pop it down Ooh. do the same thing in the back okay do the same thing on this side clip clap and here and i like to get the clip close to the part there we go Ooh. so this is 26 inches of glory and of course shrinkage is real when it comes to kinky curly wigs so look how long this hair actually is let me show y'all like i said it was 26 inches so let me stretch her out a little bit look how long this hair put us up i ain't gonna catch me slipping my hip is right here so 
the hair stops right at my hip very nice we love that what i'm gonna do next y'all already know what time it is we about to cut 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 as the scissor hands is on the loose so we about to cut this hair with this hair i can feel that the hair is snapping so we're gonna have to chop the ends a little bit i'm just gonna kind of brush through these ends just a little bit and how i achieve a more natural curl and more bouncy curls is to first cut and then moisturize so first we're gonna cut, then we're gonna moisturize and you get to see the full potential of this hair. Do y'all already know how I cut the bottom of my hair? It's real, um, it's real simple. <laughs> so you see those ends though, they're kind of see-through. So I'm just gonna clip. Yes. So I've kind of picked out the hair with my fingers to see what type of shape we're going to end up getting. And what I can see now, like this is super pretty, right? I actually like how this looks, but I think I want layers. And it seems like they slightly layered it in the front, but like not enough for me, not enough for your girl. So I'm going to part the hair. This is how I usually do. I do like a little part, like a little triangle part. Do the same thing on both sides, but I think I'm going to cut it a little bit different. Okay, so we're going to take these two parts. Is this right? Did I put too much? Okay, so I'm going to twist these and I'm just going to cut it. Is this right? Right at the bottom of my lid. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to take the inner part of the triangle see it's like another mini triangle and I'm gonna twist it like this and I'm gonna go shorter oh how much shorter she said oh how much top lip Okay, I think this is, I think this is good. I wanna get to some of these ends. I'm gonna cut into it because the ends are really dry and I don't want super dry ends. So I'm just gonna slightly cut into these crispy ends. That's all. I'm not trying to layer or anything. I just wanna slightly cut into them. happy with what this looks like like you could be done let the leave out out and be done it's time for me to moisturize this wig get it together so we can get her full actualization when i'm doing my curly wigs i use the same product i know are y'all sick of seeing this product you probably are but guess what it works i'm telling you on my curly wigs i love using the uh, shea moisture coconut and hibiscus frizz free curl mousse it doesn't weigh down the hair i still get a lot of lift and weight and light i like my hair to be light i don't like heavy weights on my curly hair but before we do that i want to section away the part that i cut because this has to curl differently and i do want it to curl towards my face so i'm gonna section this part away and add it to my leave out bun boom and the rest of it we're gonna get to curling so so i'm just gonna section this hair away wow it's a lot of hair it's more hair than i thought it was Ooh. let's go ahead and get started i'm gonna go start off by sectioning off at the bottom this evolve 572 brush you brush it through the curls your curls just like suck up all the moisture and they bounce together and clump together so beautifully i just love it so i'm gonna take the shea moisture mousse And I'm just gonna take my Evolve 572 brush. Did I actually show it to you? This is it, the Evolve 572 brush. Just excuse my hands. So this is a great detangler for the curly hair. Oh my God, it's already coming together. Oh my God. Did you see that curl? So pretty. I just like to twirl it in my fingers. Wow, look at that. Y'all see that? 
Oh, and it elongated the hair. So we're just gonna work through the hair doing the same process, mousse, brush, mousse, brush. I'll see y'all after. Um, it's all done and it's time to dry. We've added all the mousse to the hair. It's looking so good. We're gonna keep this hair clipped away. It's not ready to be merged and molded into the wig yet. We need to get the wig dry and then we can start playing with our leave out. We can put our fingers in our leave out. So we're gonna take my favorite blow dryer for curly hair. If I can get this on. I'm gonna turn it on high and cool and we're just gonna blow dry, diffuse the hair until it's fluffy and dry. Hold on, my husband's at the door. We're just gonna rush through and see if we can get these curls popping and dry and then we'll fluff and separate, then do our leaf out. So, let's get to it.
Okay, y'all, the hair is dry and fluffed out. Oh my God, it looks so good. The curls are exactly what I wanted. The bangs are exactly what I wanted. Now, all we have to do is do this leave out. The leave out, I think my hair, I think it's already curled up a bit, so I may not have to do anything. But let's see. I'm gonna part the hair down the middle. Oh, okay, this ain't it. <laughs> and what I need to do now is just blend it because that's not, mm -mm, no ma'am. I'm gonna leave some hair to cover up the back. And this hair is almost the same length as my bangs. So I'm gonna take a little bit of mousse, like, and I'm gonna rub it into my fingers. And I'm gonna add it to the hair. Then I'm gonna see if I can do the finger coil thing. Oh, I don't think that's gonna work. Okay, so I'm adding some of the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Mousse and seeing if I can like, like what's my hair gonna do? What is that? <laughs> Cause my hair is like curling, but it's kind of frizzing too. And I think I need the wax stick, where is it? Okay, so I'm gonna take the ZLA wax stick and see if I can just kind of tame, I'm taking a little bit of the product from the wax stick. This is actually a lot. And see if I can like tame my hair just a little bit. Oh, it did it. So I started off with pre-stretched hair. My hair has been stretched for days. So I think that's why my, my hair isn't going to revert unless I fully doused it in product. And I haven't done that. I'm just taking the hair and I'm pulling it forward. Hold on, let me pull some of this hair back to cover up this side and taking a tad bit of my Shea Moisture Frizz Free Curl Mousse like my finger is not even wet I'm just taking like a little bit like a teeny tiny bit and rolling my fingers into my hair and I don't want it to curl all the way. So I'm gonna take my wax stick, the ZLA wax stick, put my finger on it, add it to the roots and my fingers. Oh my God, that worked. I'm just gonna add some wax stick to the hair in the back. I'm just gonna tuck the hair in. I'm not gonna be playing with that hair. I just need the hair in the front to do what it needed to do. Add a little bit of wax here and then I'm fluffing. Okay, I want the hair to be Big. That's what she said. But y'all get it? Y'all see? Oh, I think we did it. This is the finished look. Super easy, super simple. This is the look I was going for. Very much bangs in the face, in the eyeballs, in my lashes. Wow. But look at that. I should have put out more hair because knowing I knew that it was thin. I knew it was thin. But look at it. It looks good from right here. You get up close, you can kind of see it. Nobody would be able to tell if they was just looking at me, you know? But I just love how this turns out. It looks super natural and it's really easy to do, especially if you have short hair like me. I big chop every um, three weeks. <laughs> so I'm in love with this. Let me show y'all the bag because I was about to run up out of here. Oh my God. Look at that side profile. Oh my God, that's so cute. <laughs> Look. I could have afforded to cut it like up here if you wanted like a super thick look, but I wanted this kind of frayed look. If you want it to be blunt, I think you'd have to cut off like a little bit more, like maybe two more inches. And I only did like a slight trim, but I also wanted like the messier sort of curly look. So I got what I wanted. Y'all let me know what you think down below. I love these curls, so pretty, just so pretty. So if you're interested in this unit, you can go onto Curly Me's website and use my coupon code Amira for 10% off. That is Amira for 10% off your purchase. Yes, they use my name in the coupon code. I feel so special. Of course, I'll leave the coupon code down below as well as the link to the hair. Balance girl, we're going from this to this. Hello. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Clink, 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 clink. Bye.